Is God real? Are Christians just worshiping a made up character? Are we wasting our lives for nothing? That's what we'll be answering in today's video. Hi, my name is David Cipriano, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My goal is to teach the Bible to as many people as possible and to help others follow Jesus. There will inevitably come a time in your life when someone asks you, is God real? And maybe you've even wondered that question to yourself. Now I'm going to be honest and say that you can't scientifically prove the existence of God. You cannot directly see God, but you can see the evidence of God. Just like how you can't see gravity, but you can see the effects of gravity. And in this video, I'm going to share with you four evidences that we have for the existence of God and why I believe that He is real. The first evidence we have of God is creation. For the universe to exist, something or someone had to have caused it to exist. How could there be a creation if there was no creator? Even atheists are agreeing that space, matter, and time had an origin. And this means that space, matter, and time had to originate from a spaceless, immaterial, and timeless being. And the reason why I say it had to have been a being is because only beings or persons can make choices. Even though robots and AI have come a long way, they can only do what they've been programmed to do. They don't have a free will. So for the world to exist, there had to have been a conscious being who caused it to exist. The existence of the earth proves that there was a creator. And the Bible says in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. God is evidenced through creation. The second reason I believe in God is because of intelligent design. Think about the human body for a moment. It has an immune system that protects you from disease. It has kidneys that clean your blood. It has a brain that automatically controls heart rate, blood pressure, breathing, and other things. Your DNA is more complex than any engineer or scientist could ever design. The human body is so intricate that it could have never happened by chance. Your body is not just a blob of cells, and it wasn't formed on accident. Now let's think about the Earth. It's not too hot or too cold for survival. We're able to breathe its air and drink its water. The sun and the moon aren't too close or too far away. There's many universal constants that we don't even consider that make life possible. The earth and the human body are so complex and sophisticated that it could have never happened through a big bang or random evolution. It's clear that there was a designer. The third evidence that we have of God is morality. People around the world throughout all of history have agreed on basic moral principles. Now this doesn't mean that everybody thinks exactly the same or that nobody ever disagrees with anybody, but people will universally agree that things like murder, lying, and stealing are wrong. Now it doesn't make sense that we would have all randomly come to these same conclusions. There has to be a higher standard instilled in us, some reason why people regardless of culture believe the same things. Now if atheism were true, you wouldn't be able to make any objective judgments. It's just my opinion versus your opinion. There would be no ultimate judge of right and wrong. Atheists can have morals, but they can't really justify having morals. When it comes to morality, one of these statements has to be true. Moral laws are completely subjective and therefore meaningless, or moral ideas must be grounded in some unchanging standard. All the evidence and human logic points to the reality that our moral ideas are innate. They're part of our being. The Bible says that God has written his law on our hearts, and this is why people of all cultures agree on basic moral principles. And finally, the fourth reason why I believe that God is real is because of personal experience. Now this argument won't mean very much to an unbeliever, and if you're talking to an atheist, this will not be as convincing as the other three reasons. 
But the reason why I've included this one is because when a Christian themselves starts to doubt the existence of God, this evidence is very powerful. Complex truths are often supported by personal experiences. I believe in God in part because I have experienced him personally, and I felt his hand at work. I can go back to answered prayer requests, peace that passes understanding, God's transforming work in my life, and I believe that God is real because I have experienced him. So those are the four biggest reasons why I believe in the existence of God. As I said earlier in the video, you cannot scientifically prove that God exists. You can't see God, but you can see the evidence of God. Believing in God requires faith, and the same is true with atheism. And judging by the evidence, I think that believing in atheism requires a lot more faith than believing in Christianity. If you found this video helpful, click the like button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more.